Hi, welcome to the Get 800 channel, the only place you need to be for SAT math hints, tips, and tactics. Everything you need is right here so that you won't have to worry about your SAT math score when it comes time to apply to your first choice college. In this video, I'd like to discuss a simple but effective strategy that can be used to solve a wide range of problems. In many SAT math problems, you can get the answer simply by trying each of the answer choices until you find the one that works. Unless you have some intuition as to what the correct answer might be, then you should always start with choice C as your first guess. The reason for this is simple. Answers are usually given in increasing or decreasing order. So very often, if choice C fails, you can eliminate two of the other choices as well. Let's take a look at an SAT math problem where the strategy of starting with choice C can be used. Three consecutive integers are listed in increasing order. If their sum is 138, what is the second integer in the list? Let's begin by looking at choice C. If the second integer in the list is 47, then the first integer must be 46, and the third integer must be 48. Therefore, we get a sum of 141. This is a little too big, so we can eliminate not only choice C, but choices D and E as well. Next, let's try choice B. If the second integer is 46, then the first integer must be 45, and the third integer must be 47. So the sum, in this case, is 138. It follows that the answer is choice B. Please make sure that you're using your calculator to compute these sums. Your calculator will save you time and you're less likely to make a computational error. I should mention that there is a way to solve this problem in just a few seconds. You can simply divide 138 by 3 to get 46, which is choice B. The reason that this works is because in a list of consecutive integers, the arithmetic mean of these integers is equal to the median of these integers. This can also be seen by solving this problem algebraically. Although I do not recommend this method of solution for the SAT, I will include it for completeness and for those more advanced students who are very comfortable with algebra. If we name the least integer x, then the second and third integers are x plus 1, and x plus 2. So we have x plus x plus 1 plus x plus 2 equals 138. Combining like terms on the left, we get 3x plus 3 equals 138. We now subtract 3 from each side of this equation to get 3x equals 135 and we divide each side of this equation by 3 to get x equals 45. But remember, we're looking for the second integer in the list, not the first. So what we want is x plus 1, which is 46. Starting with choice C is a very important SAT math strategy, which can be used to solve many problems in all topics and all levels. So please, practice using this strategy whenever possible, and rewatch this video until you really understand how this strategy is being used. If you prefer to read the information that is in this video rather than watch the video again, you can visit my blog. The URL is below in the description.